Hello and welcome everyone to this live video series on SAP Advanced ABAP for RAP developers or wrappers. So many of you are attending my ABAP on cloud with RESTful application programming training. And during those sessions, you have also come up with the questions on about, can you please teach us how do you use the new ABAP syntax? So new ABAP syntax, was mainly introduced starting NetWeaver 7.4 onwards. And this ABAP syntax is getting popularity increasingly. With this increasing popularity, many times you are doing a maintenance project or you're building the fresh application using RESTful application programming. So you may use this new ABAP syntax actually. In this series of videos, we will be learning new ABAP syntax step by step for classic ABAP developer. This new ABAP syntax has no relation to object-oriented ABAP, but rather it is used in general as in ABAP developer in all the projects. One more disclaimer that new ABAP syntax doesn't mean that the old syntax you have done in your company is invalidated. That's not true. The new ABAP syntax is a choice of developer. If you're willing to use new features of ABAP, you can or you can still stick to the old syntax. The advantage with the new syntax is sometimes the performance improvement or the write less do more methodology or a code optimization or a best practice. These are the reasons why somebody would prefer new web syntax. So let's get started with this video series. If you like my work, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Also don't forget to uh, share this video with fellow colleagues and this video series with fellow colleagues so they can also get comfortable with new ABAP syntax. If you want to learn RESTful application programming along with ABAP on cloud, don't forget to join my training on ABAP on cloud only available at anubotrainings.com. So let's get started. Our today's topic is inline data declaration. We will be learning in this video series all these different topics. For us today, we will learn inline data declaration. Let's try and understand what is inline data declaration on a whiteboard. And then I will go to the system to show you creating this inline data declaration syntax in detail. So usually as a developer, you first use the data statement to create your variables in ABAP, like where, and then you can put the data types or primitive types or DDIC types or user defined types to create your variable. Then later on, either in the select query, you use these variables or in the normal loop statements, you use your variable. For example, if it's an internal table or in general, you can also use the variable to assign the values to it. Yes. So what SAP says, now you don't have to declare your variable right at the top. Rather, you can declare this whole variable on the fly during the statement itself. So you can see all these statements here itself. You can use these variables. For example, even you are saying a call function, a function module you are calling where you are passing some exporting parameter or importing parameter to the function module, let's say variable X. So rather than declaring this variable on the top, you can declare on the fly data and then you can also specify your variable for importing exporting parameters so this is the way you can do inline data declaration same way you can declare work areas or field symbols or internal tables wherever you would want you can declare the advantage is for example if you use inline declaration in select query if you delete the select query the variable itself will also get deleted so unnecessarily you are not occupying the memory in the ABAP runtime. But if you, you declare your variable on the top, and if you delete the query, the variable still sometimes remains declared. That is one advantage. Second is ease of consumption of variable. Your variables will be easily created on the fly. The third is dynamic memory allocation. So depending on your selection list of the columns, system will automatically determine the structure of this variable so you can avoid creating unnecessary types. Also, 
for, for example, in function module, when you're importing the data, you don't have to explicitly create variables. You don't have to explicitly identify, look forward for the types. It becomes ease of use for you to declare these variables on the fly. So many times, system at runtime itself uh, determines the, the, the data type for your variables. So the syntax is very simple. We use data statement and then the variable name. That's all. If you're doing it field symbol, then you say field symbol. And then, of course, you declare the field symbol on the fly like this. So you don't have to give, uh, you know, all your variables upfront. So let me show you an example uh, in the live system for inline data declaration for both normal data variables as well as field symbols. So I'm going to switch over back now. We will be using for this uh, training a ABAP development tool on Eclipse. If you are new to ABAP development tool on Eclipse, I would request you to check the video in the description. Uh, to find how to set up a BAP on Eclipse for your company system for free. And then you can start using a BAP on Eclipse or feel free to subscribe our a BAP on HANA training. Now let's go ahead. And I have got my company system over here. And what I'm going to do is I will first start creating a class over here. So let's create a class Z CL Anubal Trainings New ABAP Syntax. You can also check the description of the video for the entire source code I will be sharing with all of you. So new ABAP syntax. And I will also add a interface to run this. The same code will also work in ABAP on cloud system quite easily. So now over here, first of all, I will just create a function. Let me create this function over here. I will be creating a static function. So for every feature which I will demonstrate in this video series, I will be creating multiple functions so that it's quite easy for you to differentiate session by session. So today's session is one, session one, and the topic is inline declaration. Yeah. So that's the topic for today. Now I will use the quick fix feature to generate the implementation of the function. And here is where we can declare. So step number one, usually, uh, let me show you the old approach. And then step number two, let me show you the new approach. So we have old and new approach. So in the old approach, first of all, I will declare the LT Mara, for example, type table of Mara. And then I will write a select query to read the data. So we say select star from Mara table into table LT Mara. We are reading all the data of materials. And then we also say loop at data, loop at Mara into my structure Mara. And then I will print the data. So we'll just say write LS Mara. I will be printing material number. I will be printing MA PKL material classification or group. So this is the data. So you see this structure over here also needs to be declared on the top. Now what happens in future if for example you have forgotten to declare these variable they will give you errors. Then let's say sometime you delete these lines. You don't care to delete your variables. So this is a, another problem with the old approach. However, the old approach is still valid. If you're writing the code in this way, it's okay, no problem, it works. But let's follow the new approach. What does the new approach says? The new approach says that you can do inline data declaration. So let me first run the old approach and show you the output. So I can just come back and I will call this function over here with the class name, so ZCL ATS new, I have syntax, and I will just put here my function name, and let me execute. So I press F8, and now we can execute, so you can see your data coming out, fantastic. So this is our materials data, very simple. 
Now, let me rewrite the same with a new web app syntax where we will do our data declaration on the fly. So I'm going to select this control seven is a shortcut to comment out the code. And now what I will do is I will not write any data statements. I will straight ahead write my query. So I say select a star from Mara table into table. And here instead of, uh, you know, using a predefined variable, which of course is giving an error, we can put here inline data declaration data like this done. Congratulations. So this is the inline data declaration, which will automatically allocate memory for this internal table. Now there is one more new feature in ABAP that whenever you use inline declaration in select queries, only for select queries, you also have to use at the rate, which is called escaping of host variable to tell the ABAP compiler, what's my host variable? What's my LT Mara? Yes, what's my host variable? This is what the system is asking us. Fantastic. So now you can see the table will get allocated. And the best part I love about is if you put here the fields, let's say matter and MATKL, then what happens? This internal table will only allocate memory for these two columns, not all the columns in Mara. Mara has about 300 plus columns. So you are saving a lot on memory because you are not allocating memory for all columns like we were doing earlier in the old approach. So this is like very optimized way of writing the code. Now next we will loop at my table. And I can also do inline declaration of work area. Very good. So like this. And now we can say write LS Mara Matner. It gives code completion, of course, like you do in traditional ABAP with code control space. And then result will be absolutely same. Look at this. Even the work area was declared here with inline data declaration. So this is the beauty. Now you may see another why are you not using at the rate? As I mentioned at the rate is only applicable for queries when you write queries. So only then you should use escaping of host variables. Fantastic. So let's activate and press F8 key. And if you run this, you can see the same data coming out. But the beauty is we use inline declaration. So this is a new approach. Of course, old approach is still valid, but it's up to you to use new one. Now, similarly, I can also do inline inline field symbol declaration. So field symbols are like pointers in a map, which points to the memory rather separately allocating the memory. So assigning field symbol and I can put my field symbol name. And I will then say write field symbol matner field symbol matkl. Perfect. So I can comment out the above one, control seven, and just use the new one to show you the result. Result is going to be same, but now you have ability to modify the data inside the loop, and it gets modified right away in the table. That's what the field symbols are used for. So I press F8 and run again. Fantastic. There you go. You can see our outcome is coming over here. Cool. So this is how exactly we can work with the inline data declaration during queries, during creation of data, and also inline field symbol declaration. So after this, let's have a look at the next example of inline declaration where it is also very beneficial at times. So what I want is I want to call a class. Let's say, for example, CL underscore ABAP runtime. This is a class which is basically a kind of a timer class or we can use CL UUID factory class, which creates uh, some system ID, some random numbers. Yeah, so I can call this function to generate some random IDs, for example, a random number of care 32. So when I call this function, this function will return me a random number. Yeah, in the output, you can see it's giving me an output. So one option is I go first declare a data variable and pass this output in my data variable. Another option for me is I can directly go ahead and get the get the output in a inline data declaration. So let me just say create 
not convert. So you'll be creating a new UUID of CAR32. So here it is giving me a UUID, a random number it is giving me. So one option is I declare a variable. Another is we can directly say data, LV UUID, done. So here this variable will automatically get declared, created on the fly depending on the incoming data. So whatever is my incoming data, this variable will be created automatically. And I can, of course, go ahead and write the data, my UUID to show you that random number in the output. Let me activate. So it's a great, great advantage that you don't have to go inside the function or function module to check the output parameter, come back and you know put here the output parameter, its type and everything, a lot of things. You can do it on the fly. And if you delete the line, the variable scope will also get deleted. Yes, you don't have to rush through on the top of the program to find where is this variable and then delete that variable. You don't need to do that. Let me press F8, execute my function. Let's go right at the bottom in the output. And there you go. You can see this is my random ID which got generated. And it's not important to see random ID. It's important to see that we are able to do on-flight data declaration. All right, so that was the first topic for today, how to do inline data declaration in ABAP. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos like this. With that, I'm about signing out. Thank you once again and goodbye.